Right, the now. Issue, I'm more adjusted to all my punches like this. Ah, then I have right. to, if you're calm and so relaxed you enough, adjust. if you're calm and relaxed enough, you can watch and you can see everything. And uh -huh. you can watch every twitch of his muscle. But you have to have the confidence and the relaxation. Where, where do you direct your vision? Do you look the guy in the eye? Yeah, do you try to keep right the here. whole form? Right here because his face can't hit me. So I need to watch his face. Right. Yellow. Now, there's always been a lot of debate in regards to where you should look in a fight. Many gyms prescribe looking at your opponent's eyes, others say it's best to look at the chest area. Here is an example from John Jones where clearly he looks at his opponent's chest. That's typically his primary line of focus, whereas with Fyodor Emelianenko you can clearly see him looking at his opponent's eyes. Now, if you study Conor McGregor, he does use his emotional intelligence to gauge his opponent's reaction, but overall, his gaze appears to be around the chest area as well. With an expanded awareness, he's using his peripheral vision to gauge all possible threats alongside his own windows for entry. He's reading the fight. You can just tell. Conor McGregor just takes in so much more and uses so much more information quicker instinctively. You can instantly feel his remarkable fluid intelligence doing its work. I've heard many different perspectives of the matter and have had different experiences using different lines of focus myself. Some will say that if you don't look at your opponents directly in the eyes, you're gonna get hurt. You won't be able to gauge your opponent's spirit, their intention, whereas other schools will tell you to focus on the chest area because you'll be able to quicker respond to the actual threats the moment you see their muscle contractions, their muscle twitches. I personally don't know which one is better, I've always preferred looking at the chest region myself with an expanded awareness using the peripherals. I've always felt myself better able to read and react in the moment doing that, but for sure, where you see John Jones focusing on the chest, Fyodor, the eyes, and Conor McGregor focusing on the chest, looking up the gauge time to time, or last moment when he's about to connect, there are different functional approaches between fighters who've operated at the highest level, and I hope this segment will at least help you a little bit in regards to figuring out what's best for you. Thank you all for watching, and until next time, peace.